Good morning, children. So we are continuing the chapter acid, base, and salt. And the previous class we discussed the definition of acid, base, acid and base, and the water indicators, how it changes its color in acidic medium and basic medium. And we completed the topic up to the properties of acids, right? I told you some properties of acids. So today we are going to a detailed study of those properties of acid. So what is the first property I told you? Properties of acid. Properties of acid. The first property is what is the first property? When an acid react with the react with the base releases hydrogen gas very important property of acid very important property of acid when any acid any acid react with the, any metal which gas is releasing hydrogen gas is releasing any acid hydrochloric acid nitric acid sulfuric acid so on and metal zinc sodium potassium whatever it may be so they react with the, any acid react with any metal releases hydrogen gas. This is a statement, properties. So we have to prove it. Is the statement correct or not? We have to prove it. How to prove? Through experiment only. So we have to do the experiment, right? So let us do the experiment once of this statement. So first explanation of the activity. So activity we know that aim materials record procedure observation result right so what is the aim aim is to prove an acid react with the metal releases hydrogen gas to prove that an acid react with the metal releases hydrogen gas what are the materials we needed materials required materials required we need one conical flask we need one conical flask, right? We need one conical flask. So this is a conical flask. And we are pouring some dilute HCl, dilute hydrochloric acid into the conical flask. We are taking some, we have taken some dilute HCl in the conical flask. And to the dilute HCl, we are adding some granules of zinc, some pieces, some pieces of zinc. Which metal? Zinc metal. Right. Then observe it. You can observe that this dilute HCl and zinc both react each other and you can see one gas is releasing out. You can see the mouth of the conical flask. You can observe at the mouth of the conical flask, some gas is releasing out. You don't know which gas it is. So we have to test the gas. How to test? We have to know which gas is releasing. So to test the gas, we have to show one burning matchstick at the mouth of the conical flask where the gas is releasing. Right. So when you are showing the burning matchstick, Suddenly, this burning matchstick put off with a pop sound. Pop sound. Pop. Okay. So, this burning matchstick put off with a pop sound. Then you can tell that the coming out gas is hydrogen. If the burning matchstick put off with a pop sound means the coming out gas is hydrogen only. Right, like that we can prove that here we have taken only HCl and zinc. Why? Because the reaction will happen very fastly. That's why we have taken hydrochloric acid and zinc. You can change the acid and you can change the metal. In the case of dilute HCl, you can take any other acid, nitric acid, sulfuric acid. Or in the place of zinc, you can take any other metal. Why we have taken only dilute HCl and zinc means we will get the result very fastly. That's why we have taken dilute hydrochloric acid and zinc so understood so what is the aim of the experiment to prove that when an acid react with the metal hydrogen gas is releasing 
and what are the materials materials is first one conical flask into the conical flask we are pouring some dilute hcl to the dilute hcl we are adding some zinc metals and we can we have to observe some time you can see that some gases are releasing out so to test the gas what you have to do you just show one burning matrix at the mouth of the test uh, mouth of the conical flask then what will happen to the burning matrix it is put off with the pop sound if it is put off with the pop sound we can say that the coming out gas is hydrogen gas so like that we can prove that any acid react with any metal releases hydrogen gas understood so let's do the activity once now the explanation part is over okay so children now we are going to do the experiment right this is a hydrochloric acid this is a zinc metal conical flask to take the acid this is a dropper right so from the acid i am going to take some acid so when you are doing the experiment it should be very careful especially when you are doing with acids you should use the dropper this is the dropper right so i have taken some hcl into the conical flask okay now i am going to add some zinc metal so these are the zinc metal very hard metal it's the hard metal only so this is the zinc metal so i have taken some zinc metal and i am going to add in you can see some gases are releasing out can you see okay now what do you have to do so show one burning mark can you heard the sound which sound pop sound right so which gas is releasing out and the matrix put off matrix put off with the pop sound so which gas is releasing out hydrogen gas is releasing out like that we have to test the gas understood the activity take a conical flask pour some hcl add some zinc granules and the reaction happen and the gases are releasing out then show one burning matrix to the mouth of the conical flask the burning matrix put off with the pop sound then we can prove that the coming out gas is which gas hydrogen gas understood so now i am going to explain the second property of acid first property i already explained with an experiment successfully we are going to next property of acid that is neutralization reaction neutralization reaction i think you already heard this word in 7th class right neutralization reaction what do you mean by neutralization reaction simply we can say that when an acid react with the base when an acid react with the base it gives salt and water any acid react with any base the product form salt and water that reaction we called as neutralization reaction then we can prove this neutralization reaction also with an experiment all right i think you are so interested to see the experiment than explanation right okay that's why i am doing the experiments also hmm? to make you more interested in chemistry so i have taken one conical flask again i am pouring some hcl hydrochloric acid into the conical flask right okay now now i am going to pour some methyl orange into the conical flask methyl orange in acidic medium which color it is getting methyl orange in acidic medium which color yes red color let us see
you can see the red color right so acidic medium only medial orange gives red color in acidic medium fine then in acidic medium to this solution i am going to pour some base this is calcium hydroxide is it a base calcium hydroxide yes let us see what will happen so you can see that the so when i added calcium hydroxide can you see the same redness no right so i have taken hcl i pour into medial orange one or two drops then hcl solution turns into red color again i pour some base which base calcium hydroxide then the redness become reduces why the redness is reducing there why because their hcl react with the calcium hydroxide one acid and one base are reacting each other and forming the a salt called calcium chloride and along with the calcium chloride water also forming so i have taken hcl i pour some methyl orange it turns reddish color when i pour again one base into that mixer then that redness is reducing why because their neutralization is going on neutralization going on why because an acid and a base are reacting each other that is called neutralization that's why the redness of the mixer is reducing why because they are forming the salt which salt is forming here calcium chloride and along with what is also forming water also forming same you can do with the hcl plus naoh sodium hydroxide another base then what will be the salt forming here na cl sodium chloride and water right so these are examples for neutralization reaction so what do you mean by neutralization reaction when an acid react with the base salt and water forming there that reaction we called as neutralization reaction and we can write the examples also any two examples lot of examples sir you can write for neutralization reaction lot of examples you can change the acid you can change the base then corresponding salt will form that corresponding salt will form understood so neutralize second property also completed neutralization of acids acid second property neutralization Solution. Add some water. So I am adding some water. 
now we become sodium carbonate solution right sodium carbonate solution into this sodium carbonate solution i am pouring some hydrochloric acid right so this is sodium carbonate solution what i am pouring hydrochloric you can see that uh, the gases are coming out can you see the gases can you it's a very fast reaction actually the reaction between sodium carbonate and acid very fast reaction so i am pouring some mix here you can see the gases are coming and i am showing one burning machine it put off right it put off can you see the burning machine put off without any sound simply it put off then the burning machine simply put off like that means which gas is coming out it is carbon dioxide gas right in the first experiment i showed you that when i when i am showing the burning machine it put off with a pop sound here we cannot hear any sound such it simply put off then the coming out gas is which gas you can prove that carbon dioxide gas right so this is a simple experiment to show you i did but in your test tube some different given that i explain you now right so we are going to explain the activity now, right what is the aim of the activity to prove that when an acid reacts with the carbonate or bicarbonate i didn't look with the bicarbonate sodium bicarbonate is this one sodium hydrogen carbonate that is sodium bicarbonate so you can see sodium hydrogen carbonate that is also called sodium bicarbonate i didn't do with this one but you will get the same result you will get the same result carbon dioxide gas will be clear so okay so first of all how to take a one test tube now take a one test tube Now we are closing the test tube with the two-fold rubber ball. To what 
gas which makes light content to be divided into gas. Then this light as soon as this gas entered the light water, it turns into pinky white. As soon as this gas entered the light water, it turns into pinky white. Then the which gas turns light water into pinky white? You already know in your last session, carbon dioxide gas. So we can prove that the coming out gas is carbon dioxide. I hope that the activity I showed when burning match to be put up. Simply put out. That is also one uh, experiment to find which gas is coming out. To test which gas is coming out. Right. You can, uh, you can show one burning match to it. It put out simply. Then that is also one test to uh, identify which gas, the carbon dioxide gas. This is another method. Making lime water, if it is turns to make it white, then that uh, gas coming out is called carbon dioxide. The effect that you can prove it, right? This is a simple method I will like show you to understand the simple method of experiment. Your test group is given in that way. So, test group, two test what are the ingredients we needed? Two test group, this is my delivery to lime water, sodium carbonate solution, dichloric here, stand, right? So, what is the procedure? Take one test group, for some sodium carbonate solution, and it will. Uh, Please call me on